Hi, my name is Sarah Mayer. Thank you for watching my channel today. My channel is called Your True Shelf, and today I wanted to make a video which isn't um, book related but um, is going on at the moment, and I just wanted to have a chat about it. Um, and that is um, about being feeling a bit overwhelmed. So, um, over the last, I don't honestly know, a few months, I've had lots of times where I felt quite overwhelmed with everything and I just thought I'd have a little chat about it. It might help to talk about it. It might help if anyone else has been feeling the same. And um, also a way I've found, which has really helped me feeling overwhelmed. So a bit, I'm sure like people know this already because, um, well, you probably have been watching my channel before, so you probably already know, but I'm um, a, a little bit about my background. So I work as a GP in the NHS and I work a mixture of daytime hours and I do an out of hours shift at the weekend as well and so I work about 30 hours a week roughly give or take um probably 30 to 35 realistically so pretty much full time and I have two children aged five and two and um husband thankfully um and so I have a very busy life because my job is really, really, really stressful and there is um, a lot of pressure on, on doctors in general and GPs and my little cat's just come to join me. Um, hello. And, um, <laughs> hello. And yes, there's a lot of pressure on us, increasing every year it seems and lots and lots of things that we're asked to do and lots of things that turn up unannounced because that's the nature of, of the job really and it can be very overwhelming at times and um, particularly when it's coming up to winter because we have a thing which has been it's on the news every year called winter pressures which basically means that we have the same amount of time and resources and we seem to have double the amount of people that need to get in through the doors or want to get in through the doors sometimes um, for because people get more unwell in winter and so it increases our stress load even more and I've been feeling quite anxious about this and just in general I often come home feeling completely swamped from work and then I guess before I had children if I felt I mean I to be honest I wasn't as stressed when I was working in the hospital because the pressure is very different in the hospital she's part of a team um, but when I was um, working at the hospital and I didn't have children I could obviously if I'd had a really hard day I could come home and I could just do nothing veg out, watch TV, lie around, do some baking, whatever I wanted that made me feel relaxed and um, now I absolutely adore coming home to see my children and it really pulls me out of work mode which is amazing but it does mean that I don't get to sit down to quite late at night because obviously when when my husband and I get home from work um, we have like, you know, children to feed, dinner to make, baths to do, um, stories to read, um, put into bed, all of that kind of stuff. And so it, then by the time you've, you know, had a shower, had dinner, blah, blah, it's often kind of between eight and half eight, probably about half eight normally before I get to actually stop every day. And then it's not that long before I go to bed. So, um, it's very busy and then at the weekends there's often quite a lot on like we have um my daughter has swimming lessons on a weekend um the children this is going to sound really priv privileged i don't mean like this but the children play golf at the weekends as well because um so my husband is a professional golfer and um they love playing golf so the lessons are group lessons that my daughter goes to but my little boy because he's only two he's not old enough to have his own lessons he just pitches in and joins in and absolutely loves it and tells everyone about it so um we have those commitments on the weekend as well plus i have work my husband has a season ticket for the football so he's often at the football and so there's just lots going on and i've just felt increasingly like i'm sinking and that's a really horrible feeling and um i feel like Part of me feels like I just want to clear my diary of everything and just hibernate and not do anything. But I know that I need a mix of hibernation and activity because I love seeing my friends. I love catching up with my friends. It is hard sometimes to keep a little person um, 
entertained all day at home not when you're not haven't got anything planned so I think it's about getting a mix and also I love things like going to the cinema so me and my friend Lindsay will often go to the cinema or um, a weekend and things in the evening so that's really nice um but yeah life's just busy and also we don't get that much time all together as a four um or my husband and me together as a two um and so that's hard as well because you know it's it's really important to have that time together so um yeah I just want to talk about it really and just because it can leave you feeling really quite anxious and quite unpleasant feeling as well and you know aside from all the things that we just talked about everyone has all their kind of life admin and their household chores and stuff to do as well you know like packed lunches for school and work and cleaning lovely cleaning and um you know washing and cooking and you know filling in stuff for school and you know buying things the school want you to buy and just all the different other stuff that comes with life and um so I just wanted to kind of talk about that and then think about ways to try and help really so I had this because I have a very sedentary job so I'm sitting at my desk all day and I don't like sitting still all day and um I kept feeling like I really really wanted to do some exercise and because of the aforementioned busy schedule it's quite hard to actually um find a place to 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 do exercise sometimes so I kept just feeling like I really want to do some exercise really want to do some exercise and so I went to um try out a local um sort of health spa place where there's a gym and a pool and it's quite a relaxing place and I went and had a free trial and I did about I didn't do that much I did like 45 minutes in the gym and then about half an hour of swimming and the next day I couldn't believe how good I felt I felt amazing I felt better than I felt in weeks and weeks and I just thought oh my goodness like I can't believe how good I felt from doing some exercise so after that I made a conscious effort so when days days when I couldn't um days when I couldn't go out and exercise for whatever reason um I started doing uh YouTube workouts so Joe Wicks off Joe Wicks's channel so I've been doing his HIIT workouts and my husband and I are currently doing his 28 days of sweat um workouts and initially I sort of a if I'm on my own I basically put some music on in the kitchen really loud and then I just do the workout um, in front of the TV and it feels so good I can't believe the difference that it's made to how I feel after I've exercised so like today um, I've started having I started I've cut half a day at work so my hours that I mentioned are after I've cut half a day at work and um, I'm using that afternoon when I've got child free time to go and do some exercise as well so this afternoon as I probably should mention at the beginning my hair's wet you can probably see because I've been swimming and I didn't feel like going swimming I felt quite anxious when I finished work because I was busy I kept thinking of all the things that I should be doing when I got home and then I just thought no I'm gonna go swimming because I know I feel better so I forced myself went swimming and I do feel so much better than I did beforehand so I just wanted to, I know everyone talks about all the benefits of exercise, but honestly, I can't believe how much better exercise makes me feel. So, so much better. It just totally ch changes your mindset, gives you energy, calms you down, um, and makes me feel good, it really does. And so, whatever I thought, I don't have time to exercise, but actually, it's like anything. If you want to do it badly enough, you don't have to spend any money. You can watch, like I say, Joe Wicks' channel on YouTube or whoever else you want to watch and do it in the in the lounge so you don't have to spend money and yeah it I've just found it so so helpful so I just wanted to say that really and I've even found it difficult with reading this month I've had a really slow amount of books so I've only finished well I'm going to finish my current book today so that would be one two 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 books and then I've got a third book which I'm aiming to have finished by the end of September so I'll have finished three books this month which for me is unheard of um, and it's again just because my mind's been so busy it's felt like 
I have to reading's another thing on my to-do list which obviously it's a massive pleasure it's not something on my to-do list so yeah I don't want to talk about it too much because she says after 10 minutes because I don't want to get back in this stressy anxious mindset again now that I've swam and I've felt better and today tonight I'm going to a talk at Waterstones my local Waterstones which is very exciting about um periods uh, it's about women who's um, written a book about... It's like it's not period power, but it's something along those lines. I can't remember the title, so I'll put it on the screen when I edit this. Um, yeah, to uh, talk about, I think, like, uh, period poverty and different things like that. So that should be really interesting. So I'm going for my lovely friend, Shona, tonight to do that. So that'll be good. And it's the weekend now, so I should be feeling more relaxed because I don't have any well I have got work but it's my out of hours job it's much less stressful so anyhow I'm waffling now so I just want to say if anyone's feeling the same way reach out if um if you've got any tips that have helped you with feeling like this then share um I'm not making this video as a doctor I'm making this video as my normal self so I'm not trying to give out medical advice I'm not trying to talk about management of anxiety and stress i'm just talking about this as my normal everyday self not as my work self and my personal experience so yeah like i say give me a shout down below if you've got anything you'd like to add or anything you've experienced yourself and um i'm gonna film another video now while i've got the chance before i get my little girl from school and um i hope you're all having a lovely week and i'll speak to you soon bye